If you go from like product straight to engagement and then try to build the systems and then try to create goals and then try to get the right people, you're doing it wrong. So talk about the the sharper process process to yep. help entrepreneurs uh, implement and stick to this kind of thing. Yeah, you know, going back to our curriculum, our curriculum is RISE. It stands for Resource, Inspiration, Systems, and Engagement. And we talk about like why we have to have those four quadrants, right? And so in order to get to your 100%, in order to reach your purpose in life, your business's purpose in life, you're going to have to go through quadrants and you're going to have to get there. And so Harvard Business Review talked about like scaling to your 100% or business maturity. And it talked about there was five phases of business. Well, the Rise Business Curriculum talks about the bridge that gets you from one of those phases to the next. And so we have to have the right resources in place. We have to have the right inspiration, the right systems, and then proper engagement. I find a lot of times people want to go the other way, where they start with a product, a passion, and then they go straight to engagement and they start marketing and trying to get that going. And I'm not saying you shouldn't, but they try to scale too fast, right? And so you've heard the statement, you grew too fast. And the truth is, that's not a thing, right? Really what a thing is, is like you can grow wrong. And if you go from like product straight to engagement and then try to build the systems and then try to create goals and then try to get the right people, you're doing it wrong. And what we want to do is get the product, make sure it's viable, and then get it into resources, time, money, and people, then inspire those resources, then get the systems around them so you can let go, and then expand through marketing and sales, right? So that's what we want. We go in one-on-one -on -one to be able to work with entrepreneurs. We have events too, right, where we work with teams one-to-many. But most of the time, we've spent time in people's offices evaluating their business around resource, inspiration, systems, and engagement. And we help them dial that in and ultimately make the right adjustments for them, create the right accountability to help them grow. So the way it kind of works for us is we come in first with a team. We do resource day first, which talks to time, money, and people. So we're building accountability charts. We're building organizational charts. We're building process ownership charts. We're looking at the predictive index. We're making sure people are in the right seat. We have a nine box system of evaluation to tactically know that they are in the right seat versus this guessing game that a lot of operating systems do. Then we look at it, the finances and we go, all right, what do we have financially? Where are we at? What do we need? How many people do we need? We can we afford those people? And we do what we call a business performance on that day. So that full day is about resources, time, money, people, and what time frame are we doing this in? Then the inspiration happens and systems days happen at the end of 90 days. But in between those two 90 days, we have somebody that runs your weekly meeting for you that create that accountability, right? And then we have somebody else who helps you document your processes, your core processes, so that when we come back from a strategic perspective, we know what to adjust. And so at the end of the 90 days, we've run 13 meetings now. We've probably documented five to seven core processes. Um, you've got the right people set. You've got people set in the right seats or you're making the adjustments to get them in the right seats. And you know what, who's accountable for what. You know who's accountable for what processes are in your business. Then I come back with inspiration, right? We create core values. We create purpose. We create long-term vision, short-term vision. We're driving the results of the company with that. The Bible says there's no vision that people perish. And so it's important. I mean, businesses aren't immune to that. It's important to have vision. And so we have to have inspiration for that vision. And then systems, right? Systems is important too, because now we got to let go. And like, how do I let go and not lose control? So that's important. So then now we're creating those KPIs. We're looking at the processes and we're pulling out the key process indicators and the performance indicators. And then we pull out those financials and look at the profit indicators. And we make adjustments on our strategy based on profit indicators. And then we're constantly checking in on that purpose that we created with the inspiration. And so we're also looking at meeting structure. How do we communicate properly? What is our daily meetings that look like? What is our weekly meetings? Or our, our, we call them we call them or, uh, tactical meetings and organizational meetings on a weekly, and and the strategic meetings on a monthly and quarterly, and and then our purpose, our culture meetings at least once a quarter, where we're driving the culture in the business. And so we're creating the right structure, right? We're creating the right KPIs. We're creating the right meeting. Uh, compilation. And then we end up documenting the processes a little bit more. We pull those core processes that you documented out and we start to look at them with a nine box and we go, all right, nine box wise, is this valuable? Is this process that valuable to my customer? And is it essential for my business? Is it valuable? And is it essential? If it's not valuable and it's not essential, then we want to get rid of it because we don't want to document from the process, the procedures, if there's waste in the process, we want to lean it out. And so that's the difference, right? So process is what you do. Procedures are how we do it. Policy is then when you do it. And then we drive productivity. We get rid of the waste and drive the productivity of the organization. We have ways in which we manage that. And so that's what the first 90 days look like. And then we keep running your weekly meetings. We come back every 90 days to create a new strategy for the next 90 days. And then once we've hit a point of almost 
dialed in the resources. We've dialed in inspiration. We've dialed in the systems. Then we've ETR'd it. We've earned the right to expand. We've earned the right to go to engagement, which is where we start to come in. We spend eight hours building the brand, the marketing, the advertising channels, the sales, all those things. We're looking at building all the brand guides, all that out and making sure that we have the right plan to expand and grow that business. 